The Blind Men and the Elephant Once upon a time, there were six blind men. They wanted to learn new things. They would touch and feel things to understand what they were like. Then they would decide on what the new thing was like. One day, a circus came to town. People spoke about an elephant at the circus. The blind men heard this. They wanted to go to the circus, touch and feel the elephant and understand what it was like. The next morning, the blind men went to the circus. They asked the circus owner to take them to the elephant. The owner took them to the elephant one by one. The first blind man bumped against the elephant and fell down. He felt the elephant's side. He said that the elephant is like a wall. The second blind man felt the elephant's tusk. He said that the tusk is smooth and sharp. How can a wall be smooth and sharp? The third blind man touched the elephant's trunk. He said that the trunk feels long and thick. The elephant is like a snake. It could be poisonous. The fourth blind man touched the elephant's huge leg. He said that the elephant feels like a tree. The fifth blind man felt the elephant's ear. He said that they were all wrong. The elephant is large and thin. The elephant is like a fan. The last blind man caught the elephant's tail. He said that the elephant feels thin and long. The elephant is like a rope. Thus, each blind man kept saying what he thought the elephant looked like. Each of them said that the others were wrong. They started quarrelling among themselves. A wise man who passed by saw all that had happened. He said that all of them are wrong. They all touched only one part of the elephant. Only if they had touched and felt the entire animal would they know what the animal looks like. Thus saying, the wise man helped the blind men feel the animal entirely.